Black Moon. The rarest new moon you'll ever experience. One of those nights whispered about across traditions and calendars. And here's the thing. If you don't use it, if you don't step into that energy, you'll feel the void hit harder than ever. This isn't hype. This is one of those nights that decides who wakes up and who stays asleep, who evolves and who repeats. Miss it and you'll carry the weight of old cycles for years, replaying comic loops that could have been cleared. Lean in and you step into a timeline shift that cracks open your next version, where alignment and breakthroughs pour in faster than you imagined. This isn't just another page on the calendar, it's a cosmic checkpoint, a vibrational marker that divides those who leap into their future from those who sink deeper into their past. Black Moon doesn't come often, and when it does, it leaves a permanent mark on your soul path, altering not only your personal destiny, but also your contribution to the collective field. It's a rare invitation to rewrite your story, to stand in the silence of a vanished moon, and choose what you'll carry forward and what you'll finally release forever. Let's keep it real. This isn't just another new moon. A black moon happens when we get an extra new moon in one season. Rare, intense, a cosmic blank slate. Normally, new moons are about fresh starts. But this one, it's darker, deeper, and more demanding. The moon disappears completely from the sky. No reflection, no light, just raw darkness. That's symbolic. The universe strips away distractions, forcing you to face what you've been avoiding. Think about it. Most lunar events still give you some light, some glow, some comfort. But here, there's nothing. It's like standing in front of a mirror that shows you only the truth. You tried to bury. The last time this happened was May 2023, the next August 2028. So yeah, this isn't ordinary. It's a reset button pressed once every few years, calling you to dig deep, to surrender illusions, and to write a new code into your being. On a spiritual level, black moons are considered doorways into shadow work, karmic release, and rebirth. In astrology, they intensify the new moon themes, amplifying manifestations and making intentions set under them far more potent Culturally, time of mystery and power, ancient pagans used black moons for divination and initiation rites, while modern mystics treat them as portals to higher consciousness. Astronomically, they mark the rare occasions when lunar cycles overlap perfectly with seasonal divisions, a reminder of how cosmic timing shapes human rhythm. This isn't just a personal reset, it's a collective into the night where the universe holds up a mirror and says, decide. You can't fake it, you can't coast through it, you either shed or you sink. And the scary part, the people who ignore this won't even realize why life feels like it's pressing against them. They'll think it's random chaos when really it's resistance to the reset they denied. On a collective level, this pressure may show up as unrest in governments, economic restructuring, or a cultural push for purification and reform. Spiritually, it's a moment when hidden fears rise, karmic patterns surface, and ancestral imprints demand clearing. The Black Moon doesn't only reset individuals, it recalibrates the grid we all live in. Now, let's talk astrology. This black moon falls in Virgo. Translation, clean up your up. Virgo energy is ruthless about details, habits, routines, health, and order. If your life is messy, if your energy is scattered, this moon will expose it. The vibe is all about healing and purification. Think decluttering your space detoxing your body, cutting ties with toxic influences. This isn't nice to have. It's demanded. Virgo doesn't whisper. It points out every crack in your foundation until you fix it. Ignore it, 
and the cracks widen. Face it and you finally get stable ground to build on. And here's the kicker. Virgo doesn't just want you to sweep the floor, it wants you to rebuild. The floorboards, check the walls, and make sure your entire house can withstand storms. This isn't cosmetic, this is structural. The black moon in Virgo is like cosmic tough love. Harsh, but it saves your future. On the collective scale, Virgo Energy asks societies to rethink health systems, work routines, and how we care for the Earth. Expect headlines around health, agriculture, and order returning to chaotic structures. Personally, it may push you to schedule long-delayed doctor visits, reorganize finances, or create discipline where you've resisted. Spiritually, it's the archetype of the healer and servant, reminding you that purification is not punishment. It's preparation for higher service. Don't overcomplicate it. You don't need elaborate setups, just presence and intention. Here's how to work with this energy in four simple ritual steps. Shadow journaling. Ask yourself, what am I pretending not to see? What habits drain my power? What parts of me need forgiveness? Write until it hurts, then keep writing until it heals. Add extra depth by noting dreams, synchronicities, and repeating numbers that show up during this lunar phase. These are cosmic signals pointing you toward hidden truths. Some call it mysterious, others call it powerful. But what does science tell us about it, and what does the Bible say? A black moon is not mystical. It's simply the second new moon in a single calendar month. Like a blue moon, but for new moons. During a new moon, the moon is positioned between Earth and the Sun, so its illuminated side faces away from us, making it invisible in the night sky. Scientifically, this event does not affect human behavior, emotions, or energy. Gravity, tides, and orbital cycles remain unchanged. It's a calendar phenomenon, not a cosmic shift. Biblical Perspective In Scripture, the moon is created by God as part of His design. Let there be lights in the expanse of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. Genesis 1.14 The Bible acknowledges the moon in prophecy. Joel 2.31 The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and dreadful day of the Lord comes. Revelation 6.12 speaks of cosmic signs before the end times. Important difference. The Bible never tells believers to perform rituals during lunar events. Instead, it warns against astrology and relying on celestial bodies for guidance. Deuteronomy 18, 10, 12, Isaiah 47, 13 or 14. For Christians, the lesson is not that the moon controls destiny, but that God controls the heavens. The moon is a reminder of his order and power not a source of energy or fate. So, oh, on August 23rd, when the sky hides the moon in complete darkness, remember, science tells us it's a natural rhythm of Earth's orbit. The Bible reminds us it's a signpost of God's creation. Whether hidden or shining, the moon declares not its own power but the glory of the one who hung it in the sky.